Hey, K112. Uh, you guys have an English title block template that you're using. Let's talk about how to turn that into a metric. So first, let's pull up uh, AutoCAD. Um, you guys, in my 112 class, you have the option to use almost any AutoCAD you want to use, whether it's 2016, 15, or 17. I really, it doesn't matter. Uh, but just remember to pull up when you start to do the drawings to actually pull up your template first uh, whether it's English or metric alright so let's open up our our regular English template alright this is our English template so what we're going to do here is essentially multiply everything times 25.4 since our uh, yes 25.4 since it takes that many to make one unit or one English unit takes that many millimeters. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is type limits. Alright, your limits right now are set for your English at 12, uh, comma 9. So if we multiply 12 multiply 12 times 25.4 so your first is, is going to be 305 comma and then I know the second one is going to be 228. Enter. All right, and just go back in there to make sure that everything is good. So what I end up doing is just taking my wheel and double clicking twice, really quick. That's a zoom extents, or you can go Z enter, E enter. Okay, so now our drawing area is set to draw a metric. Now let's go to our layout. Let's right click on our layout and go to Page Setup Manager. Now we're going to create a new layout we're going to call this just click new we're going to call this a four metric you know, okay and depending on your printer I'm going to print to one of ours in the lab uh, you can also print to a PDF if you want to um, it's up to you drawing to a PDF you can choose that one alright but I'm going to choose this one which is one of our printers in the lab. Now, as far as paper size, the A4 is equivalent to the 8.5 by 11. Okay, we'll make sure you choose A4. Layout's good. Now, we don't want custom. We want one-to-one. -one. Everything's drawn one-to-one. -one. So now, one, one millimeter equals one unit. Make sure it's monochrome, so unless you want to print in color. Hit OK. We're going to set this current. And you see what happens here. Uh, you essentially now have a drawing area that's 305 comma 228. So what we want to do, we want to scale our title block up. Hit scale, type A L L, enter, enter twice. We come down here to the lower left hand corner and type 25.4, enter. Now what we've done is basically um, scaled our A size that was in the a4 environment into an A4 paper. Now it's still uh, this dotted line is actually the extent of our paper and you'll notice that our border is outside of that. So let's type stretch enter. And we're going to grab the top. Just draw a line, a rectangular box around the top like so. Right click. Take it from the middle. Midpoint. Bring it. Looks like that my O snaps went crazy on me. Just type stretch again. Stretch. Grab it. Right click. I hold my shift button down and right click. And that'll get this menu up. Then I go to midpoint. I'm going to bring it down to the inside a little bit right there. Alright. Now I'm going to move the whole thing and kind of center it inside this dotted area. Move. Enter. A. L. L. Enter. Enter. I'm going to grab it in the center. Make sure my ortho is off F8. And bring it in. Kind of center it up where you got the same distance around it. Okay. That's good. So let's do a zoom extents. And next thing we're going to do is our text style. Let's go back to model. Or excuse me. We're going to go into our dimension style. And we're going to create a new dimension style. Now there's two ways to uh, access this dimension style dialog box. Format dimension style. Or you can go to annotate, and right here is a little arrow under your dimension tab. 
click on it and it also brings it up. We're going to create a new one. We're going to call it same thing, A4 metric. Set, remember, everything's uppercase. A4 metric. Continue. All right, the first thing we want to do is our primary units change it to two. We're good there. Let's go to our fit. Everything's good there. Now let's start with our text. We're going to change our text. We're going to create a new one. We're going to call it A4 metric. Same thing. Hit OK. Change our font style to a standard simplex. This is pretty much standard in the industry. Simplex. And then we want to change our height to 0.125. Well, what is that in the millimeter equivalent? So we'll take 0.125 times 25.4 gives me 3.175. So let's change that to 3.175. Hit apply. Close. Make sure you change that to the right. Uh, okay, offset from center line. We need to change that value. All these values we got to change to make a millimeter. How do you do it? You multiply it times 25.4. So this one's a 2.2. Alright, so we're good at in the text tab. Let's go to our symbols and arrows tab. Calculator 0 0.09 times 25.4. That's 2.2. Let's change this to line and change this to 2.2. Alright, uh, arrow size. Uh, what is, well, I know what this is. This is 4.5. And let's see what our point. 0.25 is 0.125 times 25.4, 3.175. Uh, jog, we need to change that one. 1.5 times 25.4, change that to 38. All right, so all these values except for your angle, angularity value there, you don't need to change it. I've been changed. Let's go to lines. First one we want to change is our baseline spacing. 0.38 times 25.4. That needs to be 9.6. Alright, uh, 0.0625. I'm pretty sure that is 0.5. So we're going to change both of these to be 1.5. Okay? All right, the preview looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go back through to make sure all of our values have been changed. Make sure it's on A4 metric. Fit looks good. Primary units, two decimal places. Leading zero. Um, we have the leading zero in metric, but not in our English. So this would be checked in our English. All right, everything looks good. Hit OK. Now what we want to do is click on that and say set current. All right, that's pretty much it, uh, except now we need to change it to a metric. So we're going to type, uh, I already have it here, so I'm just going to click on it. Just make sure you type A4-metric, hit save, I'm replace it. Make sure you change your English to metric here and hit OK. All right, that's it. You got any questions, let me know. That's your metric template. Uh, we derived this from our English template. And make sure you use these templates for all of your drawings coming up and just attach the .dwg. Thank you and send me an email if you've got any questions.